Ladies and gentlemen, I'm coming to you from Waco, Texas in Brazos Walking Sticks. Hope y'all are staying safe out there. We have gotten a number of requests recently about what is the best way to sanitize your walking stick or walking cane. I'd like to give you several different methods that you could sanitize your stick. This is a sassafras. This is a rustic stick. This is probably going to be the most difficult to sanitize because of crevices and such. I've also got a legacy staff. This is made out of uh, oak lumber so it is much smoother, be much easier to clean. First one is hand sanitizer. That's a common question. Hand sanitizer would technically clean it, but it's not recommended. You're going to run the risk of discoloring your walking stick or walking cane if you used hand sanitizers. The alcohol in it, it may um, bleach the stain, it could just discolor it, it could mess up the finish a little bit. So wouldn't recommend that way, but if that's all you got, that would be okay, that would work. Number two, you could expose all surfaces of your walking stick or walking cane to UV light, and that would also be an effective way to kill any virus, bacteria for that matter, on your walking stick or walking cane. If you want to go this route, that's all right, um, especially if you have, say, like a tanning bed. That'd be perfect. You could just stick the walking stick in there. Now, most of y'all probably won't have one of those in your house, um, but you probably do have a window. I wouldn't recommend putting it outside in the direct sunlight, but inside a window with direct sunlight would be a perfect place to kill some bacteria, kill some virus, kill whatever's on that stick that is alive. It's not going to survive the UV light. It's just, it's a little iffy if you can get every single crevice exposed to the light every which way. So, so the third way is to wash your walking stick with soap and water, just like you would wash a dish or your hands for that matter. Now the benefits to washing your staff with soap and water is that you're going to really kill all the bacteria and virus cells on there. It's the, it is still the best way we humans know to efficiently clean and kill bacteria, germs, and virus. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to grab I've got a yellow microfiber cloth. Um, it doesn't have to be yellow, it doesn't have to be microfiber, it just has to be a clean rag. So before we get started, I'm just gonna wash my hands just so that this process is thorough. I wanna set aside some paper towels to, to dry off our walking stick when we're done cleaning it. Now having a way to dry it off immediately is key to this step being successful and you're not damaging your walking sticks. The last thing you want to do is put moisture and a lot of water and soap on your walking stick and then leave it. Um, that could potentially cause problems, but if you wash it with soap and water and immediately dry it off, there's going to be zero downsides, only the positive of killing the unwanted germ. So grab your rag. Get it wet like so. So now I'm gonna grab my soap and I'm gonna put about a pea-sized amount of soap on my rag. Spread it around so I've got a good patch of wet, soapy rag. Then I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this oak stick first and I'm just gonna clean her off. Get her nice and wet, squeeze it, you can see Already building up some suds here. Wet all over. While you're at it, go ahead and go over it a couple times. It's gonna get it good and clean. We can set our rag aside and then dry it off thoroughly. This is key. You don't want water sitting on your walking stick just like you don't want water sitting on your wooden table though you'll regularly wipe off that wooden table to clean it. Similar principle here. The key is wiping it off soon. This is the Sassafras walking stick. This has a lot more crevices and cracks and places where germs would like to hide out, it seems to me. So we're really gonna do the same exact thing. We're just gonna be sure 
and be double, doubly thorough. So really get up in there. Get that soap down in those cracks. Get it on the top. Twist it a little bit. Really squeeze some water into it. And voila, we've cleaned it with soap. We come back with our paper towel. And again, you don't have to use a paper towel, it's just what I have. If I run out of paper towel, I've got toilet paper. It's not recommended, but it would work for all you folks that have got way more toilet paper than you know what to do with. Could be a great way to use it up. I don't know. All right. The, the cane, clean it off the exact same way. Give it a good wipe down. Grab your paper towel. Dry it off. And you, my friend, are good to go. You've got a clean walking stick. You have got clean hands. You don't have the coronavirus yet. We'll make it through this somehow. Let's stick together. Let's wash our hands often. Let's practice social distancing. Um, but still, go out and take a walk. It's good to get some fresh air. What this coronavirus attacks is the lungs. So move around. Don't sit on the couch all day. Go outside, take a hike away from people, obviously. And uh, we'll get through this. Ask us any questions that I have not answered here. Uh, there'll be a link below. There'll be a link in the bio, messages. You know the drill. I will, uh, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for your time.